All right, what's up you guys? It's Justin from Long Beach Mushrooms. Um, I wanna show you what's next. In the previous video, we showed you how we make grain spawn. So we did our 24 hour soak, we bagged it and we sterilized it in our autoclave and then we let them cool in front of our flow hood. So now we're at the stage where we need to inoculate our grain. So this is a grain bag that has been sitting in front of the flow hood and uh, has cooled down to temperature. Well, essentially it's no longer hot. So uh, we're able to colonize it now. So on the farm, there's two ways that we colonize our grain spawn. The first way is to use liquid culture. Um, we call this our generation one grain spawn. If it comes straight from our liquid culture, it's called generation one for our farm. The pro, there are pros and cons of using liquid culture to colonize. The first pro is um, you're gonna have typically a more aggressive grain spawn because it's coming straight from the culture. Um, there is usually less likelihood of contamination because it's only going from one generation, whereas what we'll do next is considered generation two, G2, or second generation. So first generation limits the amount of contact or contact points where it can get contaminated. Um, yeah, I mean, we use, what we use for, uh, when we use liquid culture to colonize our grain spawn, what we're really doing is creating a master grain spawn or a generation one grain spawn that we know is clean, that we know is strong and vigorous in growth. And we can use this to go right into production or we can use it to make generation two bags. So the pro, the big pro of using liquid culture to grain spawn is that this is gonna be strong enough to go to generation two um, for our farm, for our standards. Uh, the cons of li using liquid culture is typically it does take longer uh, than other methods to colonize your grain. Uh, we do not use agar plates and things like that. There's other, thing there's other ways to do it, but on our farm we use the first, step uh, the first thing we use is liquid culture to grain spawn. Okay? What we would do if we're doing this, and I'll show you in our lab right now, we're in our main, one of our main rooms. There's no flow hoods going on or anything like that. Uh, but when we go into our labs, we'll do everything in front of the flow hood. So I'll show you how we do things in front of the flow hood. But the basic premise here is we take a syringe, we'll plunge it into our jar, pull that syringe, and then drop it into the culture bag, uh, which is all, again, this is all done in front of the flow hood. At our farm specifically, we use 20 cc's of liquid culture per generation one grain bag. Um, that is a little bit of overkill. Some people don't believe in that but it's what works for us. It gives us a quicker colonization time and also more consistent uh, colonization. We get less stall outs when we use 20 cc's. So that's the first way that we colonize grain spawn. The second way is what we call generation two. So this is a generation one king trumpet grain spawn bag. So when we use this, uh, we pulled a syringe or two syringes that we dropped into the grain spawn bag we let it colonize. Now this is fully colonized. We can take this straight into production and put it into our grow bags, or because it is generation one, we can expand it one time. <coughs> That's the standard on our farm. We, will, we can expand one time. So we can take this grain spawn, break it up, and drop it into multiple grain spawn bags. Usually what we'll do is we'll take uh, one 4.5 grain spawn bag. We can take this and transfer it from well, any number really, but we usually typically do six to eight, uh, well, expanded by six or eight bags. The pros of going grain to grain is way faster colonization time, significantly faster. Liquid culture to grain spawn, we're looking anywhere between 14 days to sometimes three weeks. Grain spawn to grain, uh, grain to grain, typically we're looking at seven to 10 days, depending on how much grain we use. So. What I would do, and I'll show you this in the lab, but this is a block right now that's solid mass because the mycelium is, is uh, really uh, grown in here. So what we would do is we'd have to break this down again into single kernels. And then once it's broken all the way down, we'll pour it into other grain bags. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take you all into the lab. The lab has loud fans and it might be difficult to hear. So I wanted to do a quick overview of what we're gonna do out here first. So I'm gonna show you um, how we do liquid culture to grain spawn, but I'm also going to show you how we do grain to grain. All right, see you in the lab. Okay, so the first thing we're always going to do 
is uh, clean down our work surfaces. So we take 70% isopropyl and we're gonna spray down everything. We want a clean surface to work on. So we're spraying down all of our stainless steel tables right now. And we're gonna give it a nice wipe with this paper towel and get the area working surface clean. All right. Now that we have a clean uh, surface area, we can start. Um, we're gonna start with the grain to grain transfer. So I'm gonna grab that same bag that we were working on before. So this is the King Trumpet Grain Swan bag, and I'm gonna break it up. I wanna break it back up into single kernels as best as I can, and that'll give me the most inoculation points uh, possible. All right, now that it's broken down, I'm actually gonna put some gloves on. I do like to wear a little bit of protective equipment. If it wasn't for this video, I would also be wearing a mask. I'm not gonna wear a mask right now, just so that I can talk to the camera, but uh, a mask would help mitigate contamination as well. The first thing I'm gonna do is spray down our generation one grain spawn bag. And then I'm also going to spray down the scissors that we're going to use to cut our opening. When I cut this opening, I'm going to do a spout. So we'll cut down and up just so that there's a spout on that bag. And then I always want to point the opening closest to the fan. What I'll do next is take multiple blank grain spawn bags. I usually do four at a time. And I'm gonna open them up. I also spray these down with alcohol as well. Spray down both sides of the flap with some alcohol. And we're gonna open up we're gonna open up each one of these bags. All right, now that the bags are open, I'm gonna pour. Uh, I do this all by eye. I don't measure anything like that. I just go, what I think is about four ounces or so. I'm gonna spread this bag out into eight bags. I kinda of just do it by eye. And then we'll close it up and we'll seal. So we use this nice automatic sealer to seal it. go and that is a generation oh last thing that we'll do is we'll mix this bag we'll mix this bag to disperse all the colonized grain and that is that's a generation one or generation two grain spawn bag so I'm gonna do these four the same way and then I'm gonna do a second round of four and that'll give me eight uh, eight generation two King Trumpet grain spawn bags for my one generation one grain spawn bag. Okay, so now we're gonna do our G2 
generation one, which means liquid culture straight to grain. First thing we're gonna do is take our syringe and our needle and sanitize that. And then we'll also sanitize, sanitize the injection part where we'll be plunging the needle into to draw out liquid culture. I'm gonna open up my syringe and I'm gonna open up my needle. Plunge my syringe into my needle and then in one motion, pull it out and plunge it into the injection port. Then I'm gonna grab a blank green bag, open up the flap, Again, spray both sides of the flap. And crack it open so it's just slightly open. Just big enough to get that needle in there. And then I'm gonna draw liquid culture out of the jar. Pull a full 10 cc's, plunge that into our bag. And then remember, on our farm for Generation 1s, we like to do 20 cc's, which might be overkill, but it works for us. And then we'll seal the bag. Unlike the Generation 2, where we had to mix up all our grain spawn, we don't mix this. We just Squirt the liquid culture in, seal it, and it's done. So that's a generation one grain spawn bag. Um, again, liquid culture to grain. And uh, we put this on the shelf and that's it.